Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the first video on this channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a Fiverr server. So in this video I'm gonna show you how like actually set up the server and you will be able to join it and everything's gonna work fine. So first of all we're gonna open you whatever browser you use and search 5M artifacts. There we go. These doesn't this doesn't work. Don't press latest recommended. You gotta press whatever you see last year. I'll press this. So I'm gonna click this. Wait for that to download. While it's downloading, I'm gonna create a new folder, call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it uh five uh to it. Keep it there. Now I'm gonna open back the browser. Get open this put your browser down copy everything here and make folder here call it our defect for example and paste everything there so that's done. Now you make a new folder color wherever is like there is like the main resources where everything your server gonna have like we're gonna install resources do all the config server. So uh for example I'm gonna call it the underscore files and that's it. So now you open artifacts, scroll down, scroll down did you see FX server, open that this thing gonna pop up. Here we go. The browser is gonna pop up automatically, and you do a link. You press on link account, and then authorize. Continue with every hound you have. Uh, this is if you want to back up password. So here, really quick, I'm gonna just. Here we go. Now I'm gonna start off whatever you wanna call your server. For example, uh, I'm gonna just call it. Uh, tutorial this will be handy it will be sent where like shine discord messages or the bots if you're gonna use a bot etc i'll go in depth how to use a bot etc later on so for us we will use the the popular when doing sfx default i'll show you later on how you want if you want to install uh cubic core esx or anything else so and go with SFX. Now we change the path to like we said here 5M tutorials, then tutorial, then the files, this, and then save it. Here we go. It's gonna create repeat deployer in the dot path. So we don't need to do anything else here. You press on next license key. Uh, you're gonna press on this to open the key master. I'm gonna sign in with your 5M. Then uh, you okay, you create a new server, of course. Then display name is an LP. Uh, so other home hosted. Uh, five, um, two. So for the initial IP, just search where is my IP. For you press, you paste your IP. Uh, this is gonna be hidden later on. Don't worry about that. Uh, then you copy this, the key. And uh, after you copy the key, you go back to server deployer. You copy paste the key there. Now wait for it to get the stuff. Uh, here we go. Here we go. The server is there. It's done. Now we press next. You don't need to change anything here. For me, just I'm gonna remove these. Uh, this uh, I my set it to five because I just wanna use the EUP and all. Later on, I'm gonna show you how to use the EUP. Uh, this is you don't need to modify anything else. 
to be honest. Yeah, this is just it. Save and run. Okay, so the server is actually uh, on and running. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for it to resolve the packages. So this is TX admin. Uh, I will have an in-depth video on how to use every single thing in here. Uh, how to start sub resources, use the config errors, understand the diagnostics, etc. So for us now, we just wait for it. Okay, we have our 5M here. We gotta drag it on the side, and here, this when you open your 5M, this will pop up. This is whatever you set your like PC name as. You press this, it's okay, just an FFS update, it's not a big deal. Press continue, I'll just skip this. So after downloading the update, this is gonna pop up, it's gonna automatically join the server. Okay, gonna leave this do do its thing on the side. Now we're gonna open the actual files. So in here we go to resources. So all of this, first of all, we remove test. Don't need it. We create a new folder. I don't know. Let's just call it, for example, SF SFX. Get the game modes, maps. Uh, just leave one map of these. We're gonna leave skater. So delete both of these. Keep skater. Go to gameplay. Uh, chat this player data player names. You don't need it. Just some examples and this. You gotta delete it too. Local, yeah, this just keep it. Uh, spawn manager. If you want to see where people spawn, map manager too, where people's gonna be bad. Uh, here, our uh, red dead three. Don't need that here. Uh, drag all of these and put them in the SFX. Now, just another quick thing. Uh, so there is an annoying thing that pops up every time you you actually join the server on the chat to say you ask, uh, whatever user have joined. So to fix this, you gotta uh, first one sec. You gotta have like an editing software. For example, I have Visual Studio. You drag this here on top of the Visual Studio. You go to search. Then you type in joined. It's gonna search for whatever it says here. Wait for it. In the server chat Lua, it will say so I'm gonna delete the player join messages. This and the player dropped. Or delete both of these. And done. You're done. Uh, it will stop annoying you with that. So we come back here on the server, you'll see we're in. Of course you can do a lot of stuff. For example, uh, not much, but for example, DX, this is like to use it, admin thing, how to use it there. Uh, so now he could use no clip, or you can actually set the no clip as a keybind, go to keybinds, then 5M, and no clip, set it to, for example, F2. And if you, for example, if you press F2, it's gonna no clip. If you press insert, it's gonna show me my ID and name or whatever. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was there? really helpful. Any suggestions, uh, leave it in the comments. I will happily uh, uh, reply to them. So yeah, have a good one.